okay guys i have a quick update to share with you but before then wherever you are good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day okay let me also wish you guys a happy sunday uh just as you have seen on your screen so this time around it's coming from a bishop the prediction is coming from a bishop you have seen it already namdi kanu will be released next month bishop predict okay um uh, initially i updated you guys the statement of um, one of the lead counsel of namdi kanu um alloy ejimako thanking his colleague uh, for making sure that uh, the Federal High Court had struck out eight count charges uh, by the Nigerian government. Uh, so, remaining, I think, seven count charges, it was about 15 or so. So, according to him, striking out that charges, he is optimistic that Namdekano will be released. So, the case was adjourned to uh, the 18 and 26 of um, may that would be next month so according to alloy jimako he was thanking the um, mike and um, uh, one another colleague okay the lead counsel of nam de kanu uh, for making sure that the court had struck out the eight count charges so um, i updated you when he said nam de kanu will be released on the 18th of may 20 uh 22 so i'm um, another bishop here archbishop of uh, ecclesiastical province of uh the niger and bishop diocese of alka anambra state most reverend alexander ibezim on saturday that is yesterday declared that namdikanu will be released next month so according to him he said god would touch the leadership of the country to release Namdekanu um, in order to end the growing calamity in the southern region of the country. So um, he spoke at the 2022 Auka um, Annual Prayer Convention team. This mountain shall be removed, held at Paul, uh, Paul University, Auka Anambra State. Okay, um, let me give you what he said in quotes. God has already given us a breakthrough. We are going to celebrate a breakthrough. We shall witness fantastic testimony and we are making a declaration that wherever Namdekanu is, he will be released by this time next month. So um, this is another prediction. Well, I believe everybody should be optimistic by now. There is going to be, um, I think, a jubilation. Okay, there's going to be a wide jubilation if Namdekanu uh, will be released, just like um, the prediction here, and also uh, the prediction uh, of his lawyer. Okay, now um, I believe also that it will be possible with reasons. Now this is a um, election period. Everybody is doing campaign. People are making declare his own um, ambition to run or to take over Buari. So everybody, especially the Southeastern leaders, they know very well that if Namdekano should remain in the custody of DSS, even during this their campaign, it may not go well with them. I know what I am saying. Yes. So I believe they will do everything politically, everything politically uh, to make sure that they release Namdekanu, because I know very well, my own opinion, I know very well like this unknown gunman terrorizing Southeast and then at the end of the day, blaming it on IPOB. I know very well if Namdekanu will not detain um, in DSS custody. Personally, I think um, this insecurity in Southeast wouldn't have been possible. Yes. Um, judging from the breakthrough of when uh, Fulani headsmen were terrorizing the Southeast and when he formed the Eastern Security Network, all those atrocities, everything just died down. Nobody hears much about Fulani headsmen invading farmlands and so on. 
even when most of their governors have not signed the anti-open grazing bill. Yes, even when they have not signed it into law. Nobody hears anything about these um, full inheritance, invading farmland, unlike before. So I believe if Namdekano is released uh, to the Ndibo, I believe very well, my own personal opinion, that this issue of unknown gunmen will reduce. Even the governors, they themselves, they know. All right? So I quickly want to update you on uh, the prediction of uh, this bishop here, that by this time next month, Namdekano will be released. But however, let me know what you guys think. See you guys in another video. And once again, happy Sunday to you all.